To get started, I'm just going to go up to Open File and select a video I'd like to import into my project. Once you do that, you should see a preview of your video in the Source tab. The first way to trim the beginning or end of your video is by dragging these arrows on either side of the blue bar to get the part of the video you want. Then drag the video preview onto your timeline to add it to your project. You can also trim the beginning or end of your video once it's already on the timeline by hovering over the edge of the clip until the cursor changes. Then simply drag your clip to trim it. You can also do this at the start of your clip. You might have to move your clip back to the start of the timeline though if you want your trim video to play at the beginning. For precise trims, it helps to move the time marker to where you want to trim your video to and then drag the clip's end to the time marker's position. Okay, but let's say you want to cut something out in the middle of your video. To do that, move your time marker to where you want to start cutting out your clip. Click the split button to cut your video at that position. You can also just press the S key on your keyboard. Then move the time marker to where you want to stop trimming your clip. Use the split tool to make a cut of the time marker's new position. Now just select your cutout clip and hit the delete key on your keyboard to get rid of it. And I'm just going to drag my clips back together. Instead of having to drag your clips back together, you can select your clip and click this ripple delete minus button which both deletes and automatically shifts your clips back together. For a shortcut, you can also press X on your keyboard to ripple delete a selected clip. Okay, and that's all there is to trimming video and shotcut. Thanks for watching and see you next time.